Hello guys, welcome to a new video on Tutorialspedia. Today in this video, I will be talking about API management and I will explain in detail why API management is important. Before I proceed, uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel on YouTube, I will request you to please subscribe so that you may get latest videos in future as well. Okay, so first thing uh, before explaining uh, what API management is and why API management is important, it's important to understand that what actually API is. So APIs are basically a, a set of routines or methods which are exposed uh, towards external parties so that they can utilize those, uh, they can consume and utilize those methods and operations to develop the applications. So basically, uh, developers rely on the APIs and they call the APIs which do the backend processing and backend functionality and then based on that uh, products and uh, applications are developed by the developers. Okay, so coming to the main uh, point of this uh, video that what API management products offer and why API management is important, uh, this slide is very important. So we can see that uh, some of the uh, major options that, pro uh, that are provided by uh, API management products are the security, policy enforcement, partner onboarding, and uh, analysis, or monitoring and analytics, and the last and, le and not least is the monetization of your APIs to uh, generate revenue out of your APIs. So I will be talking about each of these uh, uh, features of API management products in detail. And remember that different uh, API management products and vendors uh, might have some variation in terms of the offering and in terms of the features available in the product. But these are some of the main and some of the basic uh, ingredients uh, that you will find in any uh, API management product uh, that you come across, whether it's open source or proprietary. The first thing is policy enforcement. So policies are basically uh, the rules and uh, some of the uh, some of the governing principles that are applied on the uh, APIs which are exposed. So using API management products, you can uh, you can enforce different type of policies uh, in order to uh, have a better utilization of your APIs which are exposed to your partners or your customers. So uh, when it comes to the available set of uh, policies, uh, they uh, greatly vary uh, from product to product. But some of the major uh, policies uh, that are available in almost every product uh, are throttling or rate limiting, data transformation, quota management, and different type of security policies. Using these policies, you can uh, perform a set of operations. For example, if we talk about data transformation, then you can have your policies uh, on top of your uh, backend APIs um, using the API manage management products where you can transform the data. For example, if you want to transform from XML to JSON or JSON to XML, you can do this using the API management products. Similarly, you can have some other type of rules or other type of uh, transformation uh, uh, pro uh, transformation methods that you can apply. Uh, an example is that you, uh, if you want to have some manipulation or some of some transformations in the header of the uh, data, you can do that. Uh, for example, you can remove the IP uh, or you can uh, do some other type of uh, transformation on the data uh, payload or the header itself. And when it comes to rate limit or throttling, you can specify and you can uh, enforce the policies that what is the uh, limit or what is the per minute or per second uh, uh, API calls that uh, your product is accepting. And you can configure those things uh, for different customers or different partners. You can enforce the quota. What is the quota uh, for each uh, customer? Because you build the customer according to the specified or according to the agreed quota. And you can have different type of security policies as well to ensure that uh, the APIs that you are exposing to the external parties are secure. Uh, for the security policies, uh, I will explain more in detail uh, uh, in the subsequent slides. Okay, so security, uh, for security uh, using the API management products, uh, you can have a vast uh, set of uh, options that you can utilize to ensure that uh, your APIs are secure and they are, uh, there is no threat of any type of uh, uh, security breach or data breach uh, for your uh, APIs backend data. For example, uh, you can do IP addresses, whitelisting and blacklisting black so that some particular uh, 
IP addresses are only allowed or some particular uh, IP addresses are disallowed. Also, uh, the best thing about uh, API management products is that uh, they uh, work on the principle of access tokens and API keys. So only those uh, calls are accepted which are from the valid uh, access tokens or API keys. So uh, based on these keys, uh, you can ensure that uh, any, uh, any calls that are reaching to your uh, APIs and the backend uh, is insured and uh, backend is safe because backend knows that API management uh, layer which is uh, sitting in between is taking care of all these and only valid uh, requests are coming in. Similarly, you can have authentication and authorization. You can use basic authentication, OAuth authentication or different type of uh, uh, other features available uh, in different products uh, that are in the market. Coming to the analytics and monitoring, uh, when you are having a product uh, for API management, this is one of the very important thing that you want to have a keen uh, look into all the utilization of your APIs, how uh, customers or uh, your partners are utilizing the products, what are the trends going on, which APIs are performing well, which APIs have uh, throughput issues or performance issues, and also you want to know based on, depending on your business, uh, you might be interested in geographical statistics that uh, which uh, region in the world uh, uh, are using your uh, APIs more and what are the trends in different uh, regions. And based on that, you can take any corrective or preemptive actions. You can have also a performance analysis uh, for, each, uh, for each API or on the product level or on the customer level for different customers. And you can also, uh, based on the uh, options available in different uh, API management products, you can extract the reports as well. So this is a very good feature uh, using which you can export uh, the reports. Uh, these are historical data as well as you can do on real time so that uh, these reports can be shared with your management or your uh, concerned departments and they can take any action, they can take uh, any decision based on this. That is uh, API monetization and in any business whenever you are uh, exposing a set of APIs to your partners or your customers, for sure the, the basic uh, purpose is to generate revenue and to get your business going uh, using these APIs. So uh, different API management products which are available in the market provide the options for API monetization as well uh, through which uh, you can bill your customers and your partners uh, on the basis of their subscription and usage of your APIs. So this is a, a primary feature available in every uh, API management product. And using this, uh, you get a clear picture of uh, API usage and based on that, you charge your customers. The next important thing is partners onboarding. Whenever you have uh, uh, created or you have published your APIs and using the API management products, uh, you have gone through the entire life cycle of API management, uh, which involves the creation of API. Then after that, uh, publishing those APIs using the publishers. And after that, they are available in the API store or in the developer portal. So from the developer portals, your potential customers or your partners uh, can subscribe to those uh, APIs. And they, based on their subscription, then they can generate the access tokens and API keys, and then they can utilize those APIs. So this is a great feature uh, of having developer portal in different API management products, where uh, not only do you just uh, expose, uh, you just uh, uh, display your APIs list, but also uh, these uh, developer portals are uh, uh, equipped with uh, some additional features like they have forums, they have blogs, and they, you can do the documentation of your APIs there. And you can also provide SDKs or try it features uh, through which your partners or the potential customers can try your APIs. And based on that, uh, they can uh, reach to you for further information or for any assistance. They can utilize the options available in the forums and blogs. And all these features are provided uh, by these uh, API management products. Uh, which help uh, your uh, potential customers to, uh, to, to, to reduce the learning curve and to utilize your uh, APIs more conveniently and more uh, efficiently. 
Right. So I was talking about the options and the features that API management products provide and why they are important. So when we talk about that, it's also important to have a look and have an idea uh, of the offerings that are available in the market currently and what are the trends going on, which uh, players are doing good and which players are also struggling. So this is uh, one of the uh, Forrester Wave API management solutions uh, survey uh, for the quarter four of two, 2018. Uh, for which uh, uh, you can see here that some of the API management products uh, have been categorized as leaders. Some of them are strong performers and some of them have been put into the contenders and challengers uh, uh, categories. Uh, I'm not sure about different uh, about the criteria that has been used and what are the uh, main items based on which this uh, categorization has been made. But you can see here that uh, some of the products like Google APG, IBM's API management product and software AG are among the leaders. And WSO2 is also there, which is which is uh, open source API management product. And then you can see Tipco Meshery is also there and uh, Xway and there are many others. So uh, I have personally uh, gone through uh, having some uh, some POCs on different uh, products out of these available products. And I have seen that uh, different products uh, may vary in terms of the offerings and in terms of the features and in terms of the learning curve. But uh, many of these products which I have explored, I have found them uh, very, uh, very rich in terms of their functionalities and features. Specifically, I will talk about Google APG. And this is a very good product which has a lot of features and uh, uh, you will also find a lot of uh, learning material for this on YouTube as well as on different uh, forums. They have their own forums. Similarly, for WSO2, which is an open source uh, API management product, this is also a very handy product and uh, you can utilize it. You can play with it and uh, I'm sure you will like it. Tipco's uh, um, Meshery is also a good product. So when I'm talking about these three, I don't mean that others are not good products, but uh, based on my experience with these, uh, I have found them uh, quite uh, rich in terms of their features. Also, uh, you need to understand that uh, for different API management products, uh, uh, some of them are cloud-based, some of them provide on-premise option, some of them are hybrid. And hybrid means that uh, they, pro they have some, uh, some of the uh, components of their API management uh, product uh, available uh, on on premise, but uh, some other pro uh, other uh, components are on cloud. So uh, based on your requirements, you can opt for a product uh, which is uh, as per your budget, as per your requirements, and you can decide. All right. So this that's all for uh, today's video on API management and why API management is important. And if you have any questions, any concerns, any views, any feedback, you can write in the comments section. And also, I will request you to subscribe to my channel for more videos in future. Thank you very much.